such a beautiful day to be a Raider. Draped in the silver and black. I represent the shield. I represent the swords. It's that time of night again, Raider Nation. And you come back. Why? Because you know it's time. It's time to bring them. What's up, Raider Nation? I am the Kamish, coming to you live from Hardcore Challenge Live Studios. Deep behind the enemy line. This is Raider Reaction. What's up, Raider Nation? It's a Thursday. What does that mean on Thursdays? You know what that means. That means it's double the Raider Reaction every single Thursday because not only do you get your normal Raider Nation news with the commish plus a little franchise face off in the second half you also get invited to the exclusive Raider Reaction After Hours exclusively on One Nation Live at 9 o'clock Pacific midnight Eastern so you get Twice the Raider reaction every Thursday. So, don't forget, later, you are all cordially invited to the Raider reaction after hours on One Nation Live, where you can come into the Ultra VIP Lounge with the Kamish, sit down, talk silver and black, kick it. I give you the exclusive into the Ultra VIP Lounge. You can come in via video. You can come in via phone. However you like it. So let's sit down. Let's talk some silver and black later. Because by that time, I'm going to be ready to kick back. Chill. Relax. Juan and Rasputin. The Raider Reaction Bouncers will let you into the Ultra VIP Lounge. So, make sure you join me later on One Nation Live. But, let's get to the action at hand. Which is... Oakland Raider football, Raider reaction. You get Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern. Now, don't forget, we close out your week with Black Friday here on Raider Reaction. Every Friday, as we jump in our silver and black time machine, fly back to a, a year of greatness in the past, and uh, me and the Commission Jr. will uh, break down another Another great Raider game for you tomorrow night. So do not forget to tune in tomorrow night. I'm telling you. The only, only hint I'm going to give you is this game is not a Super Bowl. It's the only hint I'm going to give you. You're definitely going to want to tune in. It is a great, great game from the the Raiders of the past. So be a nice way to spend your Friday. Kick back and... Uh, Go back in time, Silver and Black Theater with the Commission, Commission Jr. So make sure you tune in tomorrow. Now, prize pack point for yesterday to Mike Durkee. He's on the board. So uh, Mike D got on the board. Just beat out lines by like a second. So, so close, lines. So close, so close. So, sitting at uh, the 27th with only... The 20, you've got you got a chance to get a point later on One Nation Live. You can get one tomorrow on Black Friday. And then you can get another one on Monday. So you only got a chance at three more. So it's uh, still anybody's game for the prize pack for this month. I'm going to be sending out the two June prize packs at the same time I send out the July prize pack. Because I've got all of the items in now and uh, we're getting them sealed up and ready to go. So, uh, there, there was just some little nuggets I wanted to, I got, I did it, you would just be happy, you winners will be happy. You're going to have some nice swag from, uh, several different decades of, uh, of Raider lore. So, uh, you, you will be happy, you'll be happy, those that, uh, th those that, uh, have one coming, and have one. So, Brian Burkett is in the lead with five. 
Raiderette Stephanie Maldonado is in second with four. Terry Courts is in third with three. Jukebox in fourth with two. There's, there's a handful at one, and you guys are basically out. You're pneumatically eliminated, and I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's it's pretty much a four-horse race at this point. It's Jukebox, Terry, Ritter and Stephanie Maldonado. And they're all chasing Brian Burkett, who I believe Brian Burkett is out of town on work, if I remember him saying on our previous show, because he jumped out of the gate and got four in a row and just jumped out to a mad lead right at the beginning of the month, and then he, he went out on some disappeared and all work and everybody else been trying to catch him all month so <laughs> Brian's gonna show up and be like sup I won <laughs> cause but he'll be happy I know he didn't want I know he did want to win he was trying to win out of the gate so let's get to the Raider Nation news and what's up everyone what's up what's up what's up thank you all for joining me I uh as always, I appreciate any second of your time you give with me any evening. So, appreciate you all joining in. And uh, as I see uh, a lot of the regular faces out there, and there was too many to name you all. And, uh, you know, don't want to miss nobody. I'll take his tally, says Janiel. Well, of course you will. <laughs> of course you will, my brother. But, uh. All right, moving on. Dorothy just, Dorothy Bell, she just wants a Furby. <laughs> She's like, hook it up. I still got to get some batteries in these two guys, Dorothy. It's, it's, it's really sad that they sit here with this black eyes and, and dark stares staring at me every night. It's, uh, I guess if you were thinking about it, it's kind of creepy. You know, I mean, they're right here. They're right above the camera. <laughs> Both of them. Yeah, the orange and the blue one. And, you know, with, what's up, Joseph? So, man, I'm rambling tonight. Let's get to the Raider Nation news. Because there was some news today. And I've been telling you for weeks. I've, I, it's been probably months. The Taiwan Jones was not going to make the cut at running back. That is, it's unfortunate. I knew it was going to happen. Taiwan Jones has always been a personal favorite of mine. He was a gamer. He would play any position we wanted to put him in. He had a lot of heart. He had the heart of a Raider. And I was I was always a fan of Taiwan Jones. And I, hey, go back and watch previous shows. I'd said it before. I, and all, we've tried. We put him in defensive back. We played running back. He's been kick returner. He's been different things on uh, special teams. It's, we've tried to put Taiwan Jones in every position possible to excel. And he's always been good. With possible flashes of greatness here and there. I mean, at times, I'll even admit at times, I was like, ooh, is, 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 is this kid going to be something? You know, he even had me on the edge of my seat a few times. Because he's made enough plays when he was a running back that you were just like, oh, ooh, look at that. You know? And even at run, when he returned and he moved over to D-back and you're like, you know, he'll make a play or two every now and then. You're just enough to be like, yeah. He's a, just a talented athletic kid and he was he was good everywhere he played but he just was never great and it's unfortunate that the team has just outgrown Taiwan Jones the the drafting of Elijah Hood is was probably what dealt him the death blow because we Latavius Murray left, and we brought in Beast Mode. So nothing changed there at the number one banger position. You had you had your you had your flash guys that come out on the edge that are fast up the middle that catch out of the backfield. You got Washington and Richard for that. Taiwan was always still kind of mixed in at that extra extra guy if you needed a running back. But when you had Hood in there, that's four deep. Now you start looking at the fact you got fullbacks, you get, you're going to have to carry a backup for Alawale, and there's just not room on the roster. It's the same thing that when you start looking at Calvin Johnson and the possibility of sticking him in there. Somebody's got to go if you stick an extra guy on there. I agree, NorCal. I've, I've always been a fan of Taiwan. 
He's... I compared my love for Taiwan somewhat to my love for Marcel Reese. He was just a... He's like a fan favorite, man. You, it, he's the kind of guy you just wanted to root for. And... Like I said, he was willing to move positions and do whatever he could to... I hope not, Popeye. I hope not, man. I don't want to see him on the Jets. He's better than that. <laughs> He's better than that. What's up, Adriana? He's better than that, so I hope he doesn't end up on the Jets. Don't, let's, not, let's not put him in the unlucky whitehead category. Let's not do that to the poor guy. Yeah, he, does, he deserves better than that. He deserves better than that. That's for sure. That is for sure. So, like I said, well, I we, I wasn't the only one. So don't don't like make sound like I'm freaking Nostradamus. I was the I predicted it, but I did I did predict it along with me and a lot of other people because it, it was fairly obvious that Taiwan Jones was just getting flexed out by the numbers, the near numbers on the roster that he just wasn't going to make it. Versatility was always his strong suit. You're absolutely correct. And thank you, Lions. Thank you. We appreciate it. We're going to have NorCal back on again. He is a uh, he is a, uh, a great guest host to have on. And I uh, look forward to having him back on again. But um, that makes you wonder. Taiwan's gone. The other, the other rumor was Austin Howard that uh, he would be the... Uh, Probably be the next released. I mean, he's the one that the, there's been the most chatter about being released. Mo a lot, lot money. It's it's a it's a lot to, a lot to do about cap hit and cap room, but the the rumor is still there. So it makes you wonder. You, I thought Taiwan would have lasted a little longer into camp. I honestly, did because. Um, I mean, even though you got these guys, you, you just never know. And it's probably, it's, it's a lot about money, too. Um, you know, it's a lot about money. They, they, they pretty much knew they weren't going to keep him. So letting him go frees up money. And, you know, it is what it is. Uh, hate to see Taiwan go, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, the other big news, which we, uh, we touched on yesterday was the signing of Obi Melifanu, safety, Connecticut. Uh, Obi, there was so much hype on Obi in all, all of the OTAs and uh, the pre-off-season activities. A um, lot of hype on this kid. Looks like he can be a dual-position player, so signing him was huge. And just keeping with the pace of what they've done all off-season... One little hurdle at a time. Taking him strategically and methodically. Reggie has knocked him off one at a time. About every week and a half to two weeks. You got another signing, another hurdle is cleared. One at a time. Methodically. Dealing with each person individually and working through. The guy's a... That's why he's an executive of the year. Methodically. Like I said, we just keep clearing hurdles. You don't need to look at the next hurdle. Just clear the one you're on. Just work on the hurdle you're on. Then you get to the next one. As long as you keep touching base with those guys and say, Hey, man, let them know this is what you're doing. We're taking it one guy at a time. We'll be to you. We'll be to you. And now it's down to one. And we knew this was going to be it. I mean, come on, guys. Now, if I, if Raider Nation, if two months from now, right after the draft, I would tell you Derek Carr signed... Everybody signed. Gabe Jackson signed. Everybody's taken care of. Everybody signed. If I told you that everybody was going to be signed coming into training camp except for Gary Ann Connolly, you would be like, I take it. I take it. So let's not be greedy, Raider Nation. Let's not be greedy. We should be happy. We have clear, they have cleared every hurdle easily all the way up until training camp. The only hanging, low hanging fruit is still Gary on Connolly. And we really knew that was going to be the case. You know that the Gary on Connolly contract is going to get drug out re really, really close to season time and possibly into preseason. I'm, my prediction 
is that he will be signed before game one. That's my prediction. Before, excuse me, game one of preseason. Let me clarify. Game one of preseason. I believe he'll be signed. That's my bold prediction. <laughs> so, I don't know, Raider Mike. I don't know, man. I don't know if we're clearing money for Megatron. I'm not stressing on Conley. I, I agree, Raider Mike. Come on. I'm not stressing on Conley so much. I wouldn't got me a Conley hat. That's how much I'm stressing on Conley. There's no Conley stressing here. <laughs> I think it's going to be fine. It's just, uh, it is what it is. So. Oh, Andrew McBroom. One rule if you step into rate of reaction. Step in and rep it. Don't hide in all sly. You, you, you bring the fire. Step out with who you're repping. If you're going to say something, I'll slide in the comments. That's okay. But step out with who you're repping. Otherwise, you know, it got, yeah, it's, there's no cred to whatever you say. Because you're not strongly repping. Nothing. What's up, Watts? Because if I step in, I'll be like, what up, Raider Nation? Your team's blah, 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 blah. But nah, you didn't say nothing. You just came in and said, bleh. Weak. Ain't no fire. That's that's like a little spark. So off my comments. Um. So like I said, if I told you a couple months ago, the only thing we got left is Gary on Connolly. Would we get to a training camp to sign and work through? You'd be like, I'll take it. I'll take it. But we knew we were gonna be. Here. The thing is, there's a 20-year statute of limitations. So, yeah, I know. Come on, that's the. I agree, Raider Mike. We I mean, come on. If you're gonna, if you're gonna step, step. If you ain't, ain't. Just, just sit on the fringe and watch it. But don't, don't just come in and drop some. Joking, joking. <laughs> Get out of here, that garbage. That's rudimentary trash talk. Come on, man. Look, I'm stepping up in here. This is the big leagues. <laughs> you gonna step up to the plate? We throw heat here at Raider Reaction. We throw heat. If you're gonna step up to the plate, step up in there and stand strong. Come on. It's all right. Don't be scared. So. It's 20-year statute of limitations, and there, there's no hurry. But what it says to me, what it says to me is, you know, because I like to read between the lines. I like to feel like I'm a somewhat intelligent fellow. And, you know, I've been following this story, and you haven't heard anything. Still under investigation, still under investigation. I don't think they have the juice... Or the info. What's up, Black Hole Mexico City? What's up? And I don't think they have what they need to bring the charges. The statute of limitations gives them the liberty to not have to be on a, on a on a quick timeline. They're not. What's up, T? They're not um, looking, they're not watching the season. They could care less about the kid's contract or what he's doing. They don't care. They're working their case. They're doing their thing. They're not concerned about Raiders training camp days at, at the police station in Ohio. They're just not. So, you got to take it all with a grain of salt. The problem is is the dragging out of the investigation is going to dick with his contract talks. It just is. It's the reality of the matter, and it just is. It's the reality of the matter. Because the Raiders, obviously, being smart, have dealt with every other contract, have left this, this hurdle last as the last hurdle they need to clear, contractually, this... 
first round draft pick. But the unfortunate thing is he's already he's already missed all of the uh, all of the rookie pre camp stuff. He's already missed. It's just unfortunate that he did. The whole thing is giving him a little bit of a hindrance coming into the season and putting him a little behind the rest of the rookies. That's the only thing that's that's really unfortunate about the whole case is that it is putting a hindrance on him because. I would just like to see it. If you have the evidence, let, let, let's get it going, man. Let, then pull the trigger and let's move. If you don't, then same thing. Pull the trigger and let's move. Pull the charges, clear the kid, and let's move on. If you come up with something later, then you know throw them back out there. But don't just leave this under investigation cloud. I mean, either you got something or you don't at this point. You know at this point you have something or you don't. It's been so long since the DNA sample was given, that you know results have to be back. You know they have to have all of their eggs in their basket. And they're just sitting there holding their holding their hand right now. So, I don't know what the tactic is, and I don't know why. Guy hooting, hopefully there's no weird ulterior motive or some... Who knows? Good Lord. But, it's going to... It's going to trip him up a little out of the blocks at the start of his rookie season. It's unfortunate, but it just looks like that's going to be the case. And um, well, he's the last hurdle. He's the last hurdle. And like I say, I'm predicting he will be signed before the first preseason game. That's my prediction. So we'll see. That's a couple weeks away. That's plenty of time to work through a contract. And if you look at it, and look back at the offseason, that has been the timeline, and that has been the course and the pattern that has been set forth through the offseason. About a week, week and a half, two weeks at the most. Another big deal's made, another guy signed, and then we move along. Then another guy signed. Then we move... Going along like clockwork, pretty much through all through the offseason. So, this is about the pattern... That they have been going. So I say Reggie signs him before the preseason. Officially starts. And when we're locked and loaded. I hope it doesn't drag on. But there's a possibility it could drag on. It really is a possibility. So, But I hope it doesn't. Because like I said before. We have pretty much been distraction free. This off season. And um, it's amazing. Because look at the. We got another team. I mean, look, there, there's two teams. There was the NFC team. It was the hot team last season, the Cowgirls. And then you had us. And, oh, Chief fan, no wonder he didn't want to step out like he, like he was, like he was proud. He wanted to come out and throw some jab all cheap-like. Like, here, I'll throw a jab at you while I got, got your back turned. A typical queef move. Does, didn't want to rep proud because, you know, they can be ripped far too easily. I mean, they're, they're, they're like the lame, you know, they're the lame deer at the back of the herd getting stalked. <laughs> they're just, they just can't get away. That's them. Yes, yeah, so our off season, as I was saying, has been the polar opposite of the cowgirls. Now... It's, I mean, I, I can't even make these stories up. You got guys backing into people and getting out with rifles. Um, dudes ripping shirts off of chicks, knocking out DJs, you know. Guys shoplifting. Hey, it wasn't me. Wasn't me. It was you. It was you. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't you. Well, oh, we fired you anyway. <laughs> it's just the stories that it... The, that are coming out of the off season of, of the Cowboys is just it's it's hilarious, and uh, it's been great because I got uh, we got franchise face off on the second half of uh, Thursday Raider reactions, and uh, it just keeps giving me ammo every week. It's fabulous. It's fabulous. It's like a it's like it's Christmas every Monday morning, and there's a, and there's a, there's a new new cowboy <laughs> Cowboys have uh, pissed down their leg again. So, uh, it's, it's great. 
it seems, it seems like it's every Monday. I just wake up to this uh, glorious story again. <laughs> Something stupid. Somebody got suspended. Somebody got arrested. You know. And nobody slapped, slapped their mama for a while. So, I mean... That they're, about, they're about to do for that. Something. Something. I mean... They get, it's starting to climb now. So, you're, you're wondering, where where's this going to top out? Who's going to be the last one? Hmm. We have not figured out the bet, Jukebox. We have not figured out the bet. It is still on the table. I liked a bit... Now, we'll talk about that in a minute. We'll wait till we, we'll wait till we get T-Well on here we'll, to get into that. But no, we have not ironed it out 100% yet. Because uh, I was running some of my ideas past the uh, commissus who uh, vetoed a few of a few of the ideas that were thrown out. So uh, yeah, uh, uh, oh yes, I do. I do answer to a higher power. <laughs> my wife. Um, so we will get into that when we uh, when we have it on, but. The Lucky Whitehead thing is, is just hilarious. I can't wait to uh, toss that in his face. <laughs> uh, we do need them to start messing up. Watts, they they're, they just keep seem to be doing the right thing. I don't... But that's not true. They don't ever really do the right thing. They're, they're cheating and underhanded, underhanded and deceitful. and But they just get away with it. I'm telling you, man. This guy's got a four-leaf clover jammed firmly up there. You know. <laughs> they just, they are the luckiest. They just get by with... Nobody else gets by with the crap they get by with, man. Nobody else. Nobody else gets by with the crap the Patriots get by with. Nobody. I know they improved, too. That's the sickening part. They did improve. They did have a great offseason. It sucks. It sucks. And they just keep doing it. But, I mean, it's like, I mean, looking at the NBA, man. I mean, look at Golden State. It's, it's somewhat along the same lines. You, you start to see a proven winner. And, you know, they want to go join. They see an easy way. They see an easy way to, uh, you know, get it done. So I keep saying the slide is coming for the Cheatriots. The slide is coming. The slide is coming. Oh, you guys are funny. Um, so, we'll see. So, well, it's the second half of the show. It's Thursday night. We've already ripped through, uh, you know, three and a half shows this week. Well, Chris, did you pay the bill? Did you pay the bill? <laughs> so, what is it? it what, what do we do on the second half on Thursdays? Oh, yeah. Oh, we have that guy on that wears the, oh, that ugly star. So we got to look at that again for a minute. I bet he hasn't changed his backdrop. Probably not. So we got to look at that again. <sighs> so as we do on the second half of every reaction, we invite our favorite anti-fan, T-Well, back on to Raider Reaction for a little franchise face-off. A little Cowboys versus Raiders. A little Kamish versus T-Well. A little Franchise versus Franchise. 
So get your sticks ready. The red reaction pinata is here. You can start beating now. Commence the beating. You know what? I'm very disappointed. I am very disappointed because I thought for sure when I came on the show, my theme music would be like, bad boys, bad boys, what you going to do? And you didn't do anything, dude. I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed. <laughs> oh, oh, he wants music. Oh, okay. Oh, he, he thinks he deserves walking music. No. Uh, no, All I'm right. good. But I've heard I'll you talk I can, about I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. This is what the Raiders do. They they talk trash ten minutes before I come on, get all their say in, get all this, get their digs in before I come on, and Whatever. then I'm here, and then it's crickets. I'm hearing it's crickets. You guys are scared. You guys are scared. Oh, whatever. Come on. I mean, hey, at least at least all I can say is you guys are in the news a lot lately. You you're headliners. You guys are headliners because you know you got the lucky whitehead, the unlucky whitehead who goes from. You know, he didn't even do it. You guys fire him. And then he, you know, the poor guy gets signed by the uh. Jets. I mean, and your coach comes out and just sounds like an absolute buffoon with his explanation of why they got rid of him. What do you think about this garbage? Oh, man, Lucky Whitehead got the shaft and hard, man. Now, don't get me wrong. This guy had no return touchdowns, had no punt return touchdown. He wasn't a very good return man. But he got the shaft. He was probably going to be gone sooner or later. But they used this to make an example, and they picked the wrong person. He didn't even do it. Man, I would be a mad <laughs> mofo. If, if I was Lucky Whitehead, I'd be mad. Yeah, I, you would think, um, yeah. I, and then and the, the, the crappy thing is they didn't even – they didn't even come out and really own up to it. And – it, I, you know, they're just like, oh, well, you know, it was for other reasons, and you know, come on, man, it was such, it was such a lame press conference that that he had. I, I, yeah. I agree. Oh, Your coach is kind of a putz. Yeah, old He's old Jerry Jones putz. came out. Old Jerry Jones came out. Hey, we're gonna cut people. If you guys are gonna get mad every time we cut people, you might as well just be mad all the time. You know what I mean? Old Jerry, old Jerry. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that What's was up, strange. Terry? That was a strange way to spin it, I thought, too. It just, yeah, the way they came out afterwards, it just was not a good look. It was not a good look. So, but, uh, hey, you, your boys are giving us, you're giving us nice off-season uh, material, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. We're, we're always going to be interesting. But here's the thing. So far, so far, it hasn't been anybody that's crucial. You know what I mean? And I'm blessed for that, but, man. They need to stay out of the news. They need to stay out of the news. Yeah. They have had the polar opposite of the Raiders offseason. I, I, yeah. I hate to say it. That usually does not bode well for a, 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 your season, but, you know. You know, maybe this is a good omen because I, can't, I don't know if you guys remember the 90s Cowboys, but Michael Irvin wasn't a saint. No, nah, we saint. don't remember. Yeah, don't Michael remember. Irvin got arrested like every other week. So... Uh -huh. This ain't nothing new. No, but he's like doing blow before every game, too. Yeah. But, uh, no, but we're making moves still. We're making moves. Uh, the rest the rest thing is still is – still, All right, you know. all right. We don't want to hear about your moves. We could care less. The only moves you guys you are making is, about, you know, you be worried about the moves in line at the chow hall. Get, get, yeah. get your trade heading back to your cell. That's the only you know, moves Cowboys are making, so – I, I was um, watching I was watching Derek Carr run today and he had a little lip on that one leg. So I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe he'll be gone by about week four. Boy, come on. I I I have nothing to say to that. That's just BS. <laughs> it's, it's, That's it's all garbage. Just BS. It's all garbage. He 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 looked That's, pretty good. Of course he did. He looks awesome. I I can't wait to see uh I can't wait for camp to start. Monday. Monday in full pads. First first practice Raiders full pads is uh, oh. Monday. So ready, ready to see yeah. ready to see that um, ready to see that action. So let's talk about it. Jukebox brought it up. We still got to get this bet ironed out for game day for the uh, matchup between uh, Dallas and Oakland, week fifteen. 
we have to, we're trying to come up with some sort of bet that we can do on air. Obviously, that the loser can, you know, the winner, myself, and the loser, that will be him. Can, and the rest of us can enjoy watching his misery. And, and what, so we got to come up with some sort of whatever the bet is. Now, an eating challenge was interesting. I was vetoed on a hot dog eating challenge by my by the commissus, so uh, that was vetoed. She didn't like that idea, so you want me to talk to her? Do you, you, you huh? want me to talk to her? You? you want me to talk to her for you? I, I can persuade her. All you got to do is buy her another cat. Buy her another cat. You can do whatever you yeah. want, bro. No, thank you. No, no, no. There'll be, there'll be none of that. <laughs> there'll be none of that. Um. So we had standing on the corner. But he's he's claiming because he lives up north, and I I obviously live in much, much warmer climate. That uh, it's not a fair and equal wager because he would have to stay on the corner in the dead of winter. <laughs> Where the winner's jersey is is that just seems easy, Christopher. That just seems too easy. Hot wax to remove the eyebrows. That is, I don't know about. That. Yeah, I, I don't know about that either because these things are these things are. Oh, I mean, Looking. shaving it would be one thing, but hot waxing them off, good, good lord, Jenny. good lord. I'm down for that. I'm down for whatever because I'm not going to lose. If you guys want us to go around in our underwear with tutus, on, I don't care because I'm not going to lose. You guys are going to see your commish doing something really embarrassing come week fifteen. <laughs> no, 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 no. I do not. I do not believe. Tattoo. Ooh. A small little banger tattoo, like a little one inch, one inch star against like a little one inch shield. Just basic outline. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't... See, a tattoo is not even. Because if I got the tattoo, I would get it and then be like, Okay, I fulfilled my bet. Now I'd go get it covered up the next weekend. So it's the tattoo just wouldn't stick for me because I've got so many tattoos, it would be nothing for me to go get it taken care of. Right. You know, it would turn into a cowboy suck like the next day. So that one to me. No, uh, we're going to be putting a clause in there where you can't change that tattoo. So. Oh, a clause. We're gonna, yeah, well, I'm going to have to clause the crap out of this because every time we make a bet and you lose, you find some freaking loophole where it's like, oh, I'll just do this. I'll just cover up my whole face, and then nobody will know it's me. It, it, don't well, bet with this man because he, he doesn't own up. He does not own up. I do too own up. You got it. You're right. You got you to put, put a clause in it. <laughs> That's right. That's right because you're going to find some way out of it to wiggle out just like a well, red bet. I'm all about a loophole, man. I'm a Raider fan. We're if you're reading up these comments, all these comments were hilarious. Oh, you know what? The the Raiders, <laughs> the Raiders have a good like five year span. Derek Carr comes along, choir boy, changes the team around. Act like no Raiders have ever been arrested. Oh my God, you guys had decades of arrests, decades. Oh come on, it's what's great is the Cowboys have turned into everything that you used to poke fun at, and all, all of that has turned right back on you guys this offseason. But here's the, thing. here's the difference between the Raiders and the Cowboys. Cowboys can get arrested and still have a winning season. That's all I'm saying. Well, that remains to be seen. That remains to be seen. We will see. Because I'm telling you, offseasons like that, it's, you, oh, man, they can, they can mess with the mojo. Mojo's a big thing. Juju. Got to have good juju, man. Good juju means a lot. Just Randolph's does. all about these cowboys making out, dude. Uh, I, Randolph's just like Brokeback Mountain. Favorite movie ever. Oh, my God. I love Brokeback Mountain. Can you tell me about Brokeback Mountain, Mikey? I'll, I'll invite you sometime, Randolph. I'll invite you sometime. <laughs> oh, jabbing at the Popeye. Oh. Oh. oh, Randolph. He's all about that. Oh, boys poking. They got no D. They got no D. I agree. We'll oh, are you? He's serious? telling me. He's telling me they have an improved defense. That's what we do. he's trying to tell me. So oh, we it remains to be seen. Jordan Lewis got found innocent. All right. 
got thrown out. Now the NFL will probably run a – What? The fact he uh, even but, lead off with the guy – the first thing he says, not even the guy's number of position, he's just like, now, now he's innocent. Now if you have to lead off with that, what's that tell you about your team? That's right. That's right. But Jordan Lewis, he's going to be legit. Our corners are going to be legit. It's a young – like a Who's real Ravens? life Ravens fan, like out, oh, God. out in public. I just seen that Ravens were trying to try to pick up Kaepernick. Yeah, go buy your Kaepernick jersey. He's gonna come fill in for Flacco. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of kneelers. Oh. <laughs> Every time for the national anthem. Everybody take a knee. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now, I've also uh, uh, heard a little buzz about him maybe going to the Chiefs, too, because the Chiefs got Vic now. Vic's a, co- a sideline coach now for the uh, for the Chiefs. Like, I mean, that guy's that guy's a piece of human trash. I, I, that just all the more kicking the Chiefs in the teeth this season. If that guy's on the on the squad, that'll be that'll just make it even just a little more sweeter. Do you know where you're at? Thorn Matthews, we're going to... Don't talk Ravens. carp. I said nothing about fish, Thorn. I said nothing about fish. I will not talk any carp about your Baltimore Ravens. Now, we'll talk crap about them, but I will not talk any carp. This, what does that even Ravens mean? Ravens aren't even worthy to be on this show. Ravens aren't even worthy to be on this show. So. No. Come on. We, you're old news. So the anyways, most famous uh, we, Raven is one of the most obnoxious humans on the planet. <laughs> wait, we picked up Ronnie Hillman today, so oh, he'll the, be like a the old donkey. He'll be a fourth string. The old donkey. Well, the old donkey. How he's not that old though. No, this is only his fourth year. I think it's third or fourth year. Yeah, he's not. His that rookie old. year is when his rookie year was when Denver won. The Super Bowl. I don't, I don't, hold on, hold on. Let's go back a couple comments because I like Joseph's idea. This is not bad. The loser has to come on the show and and pretty much be a fan of the opposing team the rest of the season. Now, because it's in week 15, I, that's an inter, I, I kind of like that because you'd have to root through the rest of the season and through the playoffs as the fan of the other team all in. Come on and, you know, re- really cheese it up. Go Raiders. I would have to do the same. I'll you know, shake on that. that. I'll that, shake that on not, that. That was not bad. Let's kick that one around. I like that one. We'll mull on it. We're not, we're not going to decide yet, but I like that one. <laughs> that one's a good one. I like but that one. if you have to wear cowboy stuff, Rupert, your face has to be shown. It has to be known that you are Ben Klein rooting for the Cowboys. Okay. None of this uh, finish stuff. Enough. Your real name with the Cowboys connected. Touche. Touche. All right. We, we, I think we've got a new leader. Nice work, Joseph. Nice work. Nice work. All right. See, I knew if we kept kicking it around, somebody would come up with a good one. I like that one. See, that's just a little tweak on, on the idea, and that's all it took. I, 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 I might be the one. We'll see. I want to keep kicking around because you never know. Somebody might come up with a better idea. But, but I, I, on the Raiders Cowboys, I would put our defense, our secondary, up against Raiders any day of the week. I think it's only even be a better squad. I really It do. is a fair comparison currently because yeah. both of our secondaries were not that good last season. They've both been um, patched back up. Holes have been filled, restructured, a lot of new faces added. Although, you know, yeah. not a, a lot of our faces haven't went to jail in the process, like yours, but um, they're both retooled defenses, so it, it's going to be a wait and see. It's going to be a wait and see for both both cases. Yep, yeah. and for this time being, you guys have the better defensive line, but we'll see. We'll see. Old Jalen right. Smith has looked good. Uh, he's putting some weight on that foot. He's got some speed. We'll see if he's the same man he was. Yeah. You guys ain't got no Khalil Mack, though. 
Nobody does, though, no. so that's unfair. <laughs> I don't want to Khalil Mack. I want a better than Khalil Mack, and that's going to be hard to find. That is going to be hard to find because, you know, obviously he's a defensive player of the year. He's a he's a once in a, he's a possible once in a lifetime player, right there. And uh, you guys, you guys, last week we we're talking about my O line. Two guys gone off my O line. Oh, Lael Collins and Chaz Green are tearing it up, boys. Oh my God, those boys are nasty. I I think it got better because of these two. I really do. These young kids are nasty. Yeah, I think Come I think on. we improved over Doug Free. Yeah, I really do. I really do. Hmm. They're nasty. Well, we'll see. Unfort- I tell you what, I'm getting sick of it because every time I've turned on the NFL Network the last two days, I come out after the show and I turn it on there. Freaking Cowboys camp. Why? You know, I'm like, what? Come on, is this the only thing going on? We're go, America's team, team baby. Cowboys We're camp? America's team. Deal with it. Why America's guys- Even you guys can't stop talking about us. You love us or you hate us, but everybody's talking about us. That's oh, just the way it is. That's America's it's kind of team. The Raiders are the same way, basically. Even, no, even, in when, Mexico. We, even when we were in this, this suck, in the, the decade of suck, everybody wanted to talk about us. Yeah, you go, you go to Mexico, you're all over the news down there. So, I mean, just whatever. <laughs> Get out of here. With, Get out of here with your nonsense. <laughs> what jersey is that you're wearing? Is that it's a Hall Witten? of Famer, Witten. Oh. I thought that was a six. He's our choir boy. He's our choir boy. You can't say <laughs> nothing about Witten. He no, is solid. True. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Oh, say God. We've got more. You don't have got, something bad to say. Cowgirls. Extra I challenge anybody to say something bad about Jason Witten. There's nothing to the challenge. It's, he's I agree. It's kind of, he's kind of like Carr. You, there's not a lot bad you can say about that guy. He's just a solid player. So, uh, well, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So, who's your first opponent in um, preseason? Jo- in preseason? Well, it's going to be Arizona. Oh, yeah. Or the Rams. You guys are the Hall of Fame game. That's right. Hall of Fame game. No, 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 no. I knew that. The- yep. <laughs> yep. And Great we're going to be oh, kind, of, kind of a spoiler alert. We're going to be broadcasting that, correct? Possibly. Possibly, yes. That's the plan. That's the plan. Because um, it is, even though it's not, a, it's not a Raiders game per se. It is the official kickoff of the NFL season. So it seems you guys it, love the Cowboys. You guys no, love. Them. No, it seems like it should be covered. Because basically, I will be kicking them. I will be kicking the Cowboys in the stones probably the entire broadcast. So you know. there's going to be two games you guys watch religiously every week. You're going to watch the Raiders. And you know what's going to happen? You're going to go to the Dallas game next. Or you'll flip between the two. It won't matter. You guys are going to watch Dallas no matter what. You guys, you guys can't help it. That garbage. You can't help it. I watch you all the teams. I, I'm red zone channeling. I don't watch any specific team if it's not my team. I'm, yeah, red, okay. I'm red zone in it. Because I'm, I'm yeah, fantasy okay. football action. That. I, I ain't sitting and watching. No, I don't care what your I'm team so- does. You know what I could sit, I could just like turn off all all technology for a week. I could come in here. You guys could tell me everything about my Cowboys. You guys could tell me every single thing they've done. I could tell you, know, you everything I, about everybody's team. My Cowboys. I'm an Eagles fan. That's why we're America's team. You guys love us. Get out of here. That's just because we're knowledgeable fans. I would know no. everything about everybody's team. Get out of here with that garbage. Yeah. Okay. Get out of okay. Here. All right, get out of here. Yeah. I just appreciate the, I just appreciate the ratings. You know what I mean? I appreciate the ratings, guys. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Whatever. What's up, Leslie? Uh, whoop whoop to you. And uh, whoop whoop. So, yes. Oh, uh, and I'm missing it right now. I'm missing it too. What's going on? What's going? On? I know it. I know it. God, we don't even talk. About it. So, um. We play you guys in Dallas in week three. Basically, the dress rehearsal of preseason. So that should be interesting, too. So maybe, do we put a wager on the first half score as well? Small wager? A fun kickoff first wager? Half. First half, they would have the starters in the first quarter. Yes. 
Oh, most of so, the first half. That's usually the game when they play the whole uh, – they, they'll play the whole first half usually. That's the last dress rehearsal. That's, that's what the Raiders have done the last several seasons is pretty much they'll play the whole first half. So, I mean, we could do one just for fun. <laughs> we, 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 could do, we could do something small for that. I, I'm yeah, not worried about it. A little, little something, something. Just to make it interesting. Yeah. Just to make it interesting. Because I am probably going to have uh, – I'm going to probably do the preseason games as well. So, uh, yeah. we're working on that as well. So, we'll see. Um, well, I don't think I have anything else for you. That's because you never have anything for me, baby. I'm done with you, you have nothing for America's team. You never have anything. I, I That's think we're okay. done with you. We've had our fun with yeah. you today. We, 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 we appreciate you coming. I but, uh, <laughs> I thought my note. Oh. But uh, we, we've, we've got our Cowboys humor for the week. we got our lucky whitehead story. And uh, we, we just all can't wait to see what becomes of the Cowboys soap opera of the offseason. And what what you what brings next week? Who will slap their mama? Who will punch their kids? Who will do something really stupid? The answer is going to be Derek Carr, and I would laugh so hard. Oh my oh, god! Get out, you here with your garbage. Can you imagine? Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> I don't know who made it America's team. Must have been some stupid, stupid reporter somewhere along the line, Christopher. That's all I can think. What's up? We got a JD sighting in the house on the late night. What's up, JD? So, that was T-Well. We have him on for comic relief, and like I said, he's the Raider Reaction Pinata. We could come on here and beat him with a stick, and, uh, you know, it's nice, nice to release your frustrations on the opposing team. So, we always appreciate, uh, How did T-Well on? And, um, <laughs> hey, it's Franchise Face-Off. Second half of every Thursday show, J.D. We're going to start having on other team fans as well. Um, got some, I've actually got a donkey fan lined up to, uh, to come on soon. So that should be interesting. That should be interesting. Because, um, hey, it's nice to have a little. Uh, it's nice to have a little banter session with an opposing fan, uh, Mr. Ravens fan who was on earlier. If uh, you know, you get your chance sometime. We're gonna play the Ravens, so you might get your chance sometime. Now, like I was saying earlier, like I was saying earlier, every Thursday you get double the rate of reaction. That means next. I take an hour break, and then I invite you in my after hours, the Raider Reaction After Hours, on One Nation Live, 9 o'clock Pacific, midnight Eastern. The Raider Reaction Bouncers, Juan and Rasputin, will allow you into the Ultra VIP Lounge, where you can sit down one-on-one -on -one with the commish, talk some silver and black. You can slide in via video or via audio, whatever you prefer. But it's a much, much more relaxed atmosphere, and much more relaxed atmosphere. And I like to talk to the Raider Nation. I like to, you know, it's the after hours. We've already done the show, and it's time to just sit back and relax. So, as always, I appreciate any second. You join and spin with me on Raider Reaction. Each and every one of you that stopped in. Tomorrow, it's Raider Reaction Black Friday, Silver and Black Theater. I've got a super, super special game picked out for you out of Raider history. Me and the Commish Jr. and I will be presenting. Make sure you tune in. Only hint, it is not a Super Bowl. It is not a Super Bowl. Tune in tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow. Don't want to miss it. It's been the hottest show of the week the last three weeks. It's been over 10,000 views on every Black Friday Raider reaction, Silver and Black Theater, the last four weeks. So I got a feeling this one's going to be even bigger. So make sure you guys are there. 
Rated Reaction, Black Friday, Silver and Black Theater, tomorrow. What's up, Rip Raider? Glad you made it in. Check me back in an hour on One Nation Live at the After Hours. Hope to see you guys there. You've all been cordially invited. Step into the Ultra VIP Lounge. Let's talk to Silver and Black, guys. It's an exciting time to be a Raider. It's camp. Preseason's right around the corner. Peace, love. Raider Nation.